Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel. I'm just back from getting another package. I went through the, I went with a bicycle and I'm super hot and tired now. Um, these ones, these sabers uh, come from the US and I believe these are the Saber Forge Count Duco and the Core Band, um, the Core Band Cross Guard Saber that I ordered a while ago from somebody on the forums. Um, the downside is, again, I got a tax slap, uh, import tax, this time really expensive, 80 euros. So I have to see how I can uh, calculate that back when I uh, completed the lightsaber installs with the profi board and NeoPixel, etc. Um, if I can be in the sub 300 to 350 US dollars, because I do have to earn back that money, of course, if that makes sense, right? I, I, I do, otherwise I have to pay a lot of money from my own pocket to make these lightsabers. Um, the person that uh, sold me the lightsabers had a bit of a delay and uh, to make it up to me he uh, included this uh, magazine that's really nice of him uh, Darth Vader uh, so that's cool thank you very much to do it I appreciate your understanding and uh, shipping the saber to me so um, we got to the uh, Dooku here <laughs> now what you can see it's pretty damn massive um, a lot oh actually um, looks like they opened it I don't know um, but um, it seems like um, a lot of people said that the Ultimate Works uh, Count Dooku is the best on the market. Unfortunately, it's no longer for sale. I did review that Count Dooku a while ago. Uh, but this is the version of Saber Force. Of course, Saber Force is uh, known for their oversized hills like Auto Sabers. And uh, Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> this thing is huge. Oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> this thing is way too big. Oh my god. Um, it looks nice though. It's 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 a nice saber. Um, but um, yeah, geez, uh, this 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 thing is super oversized. So apparently, this saber contains a soundboard, etc., etc., etc. But um, um, it has some issues. There, I need to open it up. I need to take a look what's what's wrong with it inside. It has a tri crease setup, uh, so maybe I can solve it most of the parts and just maybe have to replace the soundboard or the speaker. I, I have no idea, uh, but we will find it out once we are uh, going to open her up and uh, take a look inside uh, what, what, what can be wrong. Uh, but um, yeah, <laughs> the Kao Duku. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's the first time I see this one for Sabre Forts, and uh, honestly, guys. Uh, this thing is way way too big for for Count Dooku's lightsaber it's it's like my hand like if I hold it in the bottom you can see how big this thing is this is this is my upper arm <laughs> this is ultra saber sizing uh, anyway it, it's nice to have I'm gonna review it of course and then um, some bubble wrap with some I think some stuff he added uh, as, a, as a makeup for uh, shipping a bit late and this is the cross guard I'm excited for the cross guard in um, every time I see the pictures I'm always very excited to get one myself and uh, here is one uh, now of course this one was already um, sort of halfway uh, hand weathered in a crude way so as you can see the weathering is uh, pretty shoddy so what I'm thinking about is uh, um, polish this up just polish it up, just elbow grease it, and then um, we powder coat this whole thing maybe, or this section. Um, it also has this uh, real weird uh, section here. I hope everything is in there, all the parts and bits. I do hope uh, it's complete. Uh, but this is the Corbent uh, kit that um, has the uh, crystal review chamber. Uh, let's see if I can actually show that to you guys. That's uh, probably locked by the screw. Yeah, I probably have to undo this screw first and then I can access it. Um, so yeah, um, overall, um, it's, it's a blank canvas, of course, guys. It's a blank canvas, but um, so far, uh, I like the weight of it. It's a really nice heft to it. It's it's pretty heavy, uh, to be true, truth to be said, but um, uh, it looks really nice. Like, I can definitely see myself building a really nice uh, kit out of this. It won't be super accurate. Um, but uh, for me, it, it will be more than sufficient. Uh, looks really nice, honestly. It looks really, really nice. It feels, it feels solid. Like yes, the, the Duku, 
<laughs> is is still bigger than uh, the um, the graph uh, the uh, the uh, sorry the the cross guard. Uh, but then again, the cross guard should be a, a pretty beefy big lightsaber. And then we got some stuff here, which I hope. Yep. Oh, cool. So what he included in this package is the following: um, the wires that goes on the sides, the innards that goes uh, all the greedy parts that goes on the hilt, the crystal. <laughs> uh, yep, the crystal is here, which is a uh, yeah, it's an absolutely disgusting crystal, but uh, we're gonna have fun with it and. Uh, Two side blades. Um, I'm not sure if these were part of the original kit or these were just ice, ice to call, ice popsicle sticks or something. Uh, but yeah, they now just fit exactly in there. Um, so yeah, gonna have fun with that. Um, gonna see how much uh, work uh, I have to put in this one. Um, but uh, it might be, it might be a saber that I'm gonna build and then I'm really gonna enjoy it. Like once I build it completely and uh, I, I play with it, I might really enjoy this lightsaber and I might even keep it. Uh, this might be a saber that I really wanna keep uh, in the end because I really like unwieldy beefy lightsabers. As long as they're like, if it's a cannon hilt, it has to be in the cannon size. Uh, this one of course is way over hilt. Uh, oversized so that's unfortunately um, a bit too much for me this one might be a bit oversized but it's actually not too far off from how it looks like in the movie as well it's, it's just a beefy big hilt so um, yeah I might really enjoy this one I might really uh, enjoy the, the features that it has with the review chamber crystal review chamber uh, setup etc so I'm, I'm gonna play a lot with it and uh, we're gonna see so that was my little unboxing video Hopefully you liked it. Um, also, a quick PSA uh, regarding um, the the stuff that I've seen, all the comments about Shamim leaving the uh, no, leaving majority of the hobby and um, stop doing commission, stop uh, stop uh, presenting his uh, sound fonts on um, sound saber saberfont.com and uh, removing his YouTube channel. And it's all in his own good right. But a lot of people are very asocial. Uh, really crazy people in the hobby to be honest um, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys there, there's some really not cases in this hobby uh, at times and uh, yeah they basically blamed him for uh, he leaving because he didn't make enough money and he was ungrateful and uh, he should leave his YouTube channel up and blah 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 um, people are really crazy not all of you guys, of course, but there are some guys out there. They're just they're bored out of mind. They just want to have a conflict. They just want to fight. They just they, I don't know what 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 they're doing or what they're thinking. But um, uh, yeah, there's no go. Uh, what they said about Shamim, etc. I mean, um, he, just let him go. I mean, just if he want to leave in the way he wants to, then just let him go. And people were already saying it's very suspicious and blah 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 blah. Ooh, there were some really nasty comments out there. So uh, anyway, I got I got uh, Shamim got plenty of experience with it. I have plenty of experience by it <laughs> by now on YouTube and Facebook, etc. Uh, people are just um, people. They they have to, they're there. Yeah. Uh, the, the the safe haven of this hobby is not as safe as you think it is. Like if you think ah uh, nice and nerdy, it's uh, gonna have fun and uh, geek out. <clears throat> Don't don't uh, expect that you can fully geek out because there's always this one person that will <clears throat> just try to uh, to bring you down or whatever in the same in the same hobby in the same space. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, already got Magnus uh, glued onto it, so I can actually pop this out. That's cool. Kind of cool mechanic. I I kind of hate it at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna check out if we're gonna improve that because this thing rattles at all sides. So I don't want to have any rattles on my lightsabers. So we're gonna see how good we're gonna make this. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. If you have any questions, leave them uh, in, on the videos. I will get back to you guys uh, very soon. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's just way oversized. Like if you put this on your hip, like. Uh, it's, it's almost your lack, like your turd lack. Anyway, guys, take care. See you. Bye bye.